I am Groot. Yeah, what he said. A lot of people have been asking for a more in-depth video showing how I do my visual effects in Adobe After Effects, so I decided to create this breakdown of the effects in my Guardians of the Galaxy video. Number 1. Star-Lord's Helmet In the original plate, the helmet just vanishes. In order to create the retracting effect in Adobe After Effects, I duplicated my footage layer and created a still image out of the last frame showing the helmet, and I keyframed the position and rotation to follow Star-Lord's head. Using masking, I started cutting into the still image, making it disappear a little more each frame. As a final touch, I dropped in a light blue solid and used a similar masking effect to make a blue glow right behind the vanishing helmet. Number 2. The Cassette Player This effect was really simple. The original plate is just a static, locked-off shot, so I duplicated the layer, set the anchor point to the center of the tape reel, masked out just the center of the reel that I needed to move, and turned up the rotation. I duplicated this effect for the second reel, and then added a slow push in to make the shot look more interesting. I am Groot. Number 3. Groot The Lego Groot is way too big to fit with the minifigures, so I shot him against a green or blue screen and shrunk him down for every shot in which he was shown. When doing compositing like this, you generally need three layers, First, the background layer, then your composited object, and then a foreground layer for anything closer to the camera than the object. This third layer is the most complicated and involves masking to keep your foreground layer from getting covered up by your composited object. But when done right, it's the foreground plate that really makes the shot look real. Number 4. The Milano Spaceship I took a live screen capture of myself working on this effect so I'll be going into a fair amount of detail for those who are interested. First, I create a composition in After Effects with the correct pixel size for the final video. Then, using the color key tool in After Effects, I select the green background and crank up the tolerance, eliminating the green. The problem is, if I crank up the tolerance too far, it will start to eat into my spaceship. So, in order to eliminate the entire background, I need to use multiple color keys. Once the comp starts looking pretty good, I will often drop a solid color plate in the background, just to see what artifacts remain. At this point, it's probably a better idea to mask out the remaining spotty areas, rather than using more color keys. So, I draw a mask around the spaceship, and add a few keyframes to match the motion. A notable problem at this point is that some of the cockpit windshield has been removed by the color keys, allowing you to see the red plate beneath it. To fix this, I duplicate the layer, remove the color keys, and mask out just the cockpit, and drop it on top of my spaceship layer. I also chose to add a subtle flame coming out of the Milano's engine. It's now time to drop the Milano into the outer space background. I then add a few positioning and rotation keyframes to make the ship fly across the screen. As a final touch, I wanted to give the ship a cool looking glow, so I duplicated my layer and added a levels effect. Then, I cranked up the black input, turned the compositing mode to screen, and added a blur. Looks pretty cool, right? This shot took about 45 minutes to put together, but it looks pretty darn cool in the final video. Thanks very much for watching, I hope this has all given you a much clearer idea of how I pull off my effects. I will be posting some new behind the scenes videos soon, so if there are any topics you'd like me to cover, please comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thanks guys!